Hi, everybody. Thank you for uh, joining us today. I am going to be talking to the owner, the designer, Valerio of Acora Acoustics from Canada. These are the speakers that a lot of you guys have been asking me about. The speakers made out of granite. Granite material, which is extremely solid, non-resonant, and weigh a hell of a lot, <laughs> based on what you told me. They're roughly, they're roughly about 250 pounds, so they're okay. not stupidly heavy. I know the speakers you've had in your house. <laughs> Compared to what you've had in your house, and even the amplifiers you've had in the house, these are lightweights. You know, the other thing is, because they're all granite, they're easy to move. We don't have paint that's going to chip. We don't have to ship them with protective coatings and plastic and all the rest of it. So they're actually fairly easy to move around. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, you see, I, am, I stand corrected. I guess not, not everything needs to weigh 350 pounds. 250 is should be light enough for me, right? Not too bad. Uh, not you, too bad. You, your muscles, man, no problem. <laughs> One hand. Well, let's talk about what you have here. Let's showcase. This is your, and I wouldn't call it flagship because he corrected me. He doesn't build speakers based on a price point. It's just a speaker designed for a larger room. Correct. Right. So let's talk about this speaker here that you sure. have. Let's uh, focus on it so you can see. Go ahead. Let me stand over here. Go ahead. These are the Model SRC2s. These are a two and a half way loudspeaker. We designed this speaker for rooms roughly 400 square feet to about 2,000 square feet. They're 92 and a half dB efficient. They are a two way with a supplemental bottom driver, possibly helping out in the lower frequencies. Frequency response is 29 to 40,000. Wow. Um, that's weight is approximately weight is approximately 250 pounds 250 pounds and uh typically what kind of amplifiers do you partner these with you usually tubes solid state class d typically what do you what do you showcase them with they are very very uh revealing, revealing. and ruthless so they can be used with any amplifier any. but they're going to show you what's upstream okay so okay they're going to be very very defining of what's upstream so will they work with tube amplifiers? Yes. Will they work with solid state? Yes. Will they work with a class D? We have paired them with some class Ds that sound very, very good. Okay. But if your amplifier has, no, has uh, some characteristics, sonic signatures, you're going to hear it. Okay, so it's very much my cup of tea <laughs> because I am big on that type of amp uh, speaker design, which is give, give me nothing but the facts. Okay, I know in the past I've had speakers that are a little more smoother on the top end, they tend to just blend beautifully with every type of song, even classic rock. Classic rock, as you guys know, it's not really the smoothest type of music that you can listen to. But with these, these are gonna give you everything that's in the music, no matter what. If you hate bluntness in your life, somebody who can give it to you how it is, this may not be the speaker for you. Basically. Correct. You need to understand that it's about personalities. This speaker has essentially no personality because it is very transparent and very neutral. Okay, so now what's the min minimum required power for the speaker? They are 92 and a half dB efficient. Okay. So, you know, I mean, even 10 watts of channel is going to get it to a decent playing level. Okay. That all depends on how loud you're going to play it. Okay. I mean, we do recommend the minimum of 25 watts. 25 watts. But, I mean, that's only a recommendation. We all know 25 watts out of one amplifier is not the same as 25 out of another amplifier. Very interesting point. Some amplifiers that you have seen on my channel are rated at 40 watts and they sound like they have 400 watts. So keep that in mind, what he's saying. It's very interesting that you're saying that. Well, let's talk about the electronics that are gonna be powering sure. these speakers. Absolutely. Let's go over these. Go ahead. Okay, so we have, starting from the top here, we have the J-Sacora turntable. We are using the DS Grandmaster cartridge, which is an optical cartridge. Wow. Now it uses its own dedicated, as they call it, their equalizer and energizer unit to power the cartridge, which is it's technically its phono stage. This is the power supply for the phono for the for the DS audio. So it is a two-piece system, and it retails for roughly about sixty thousand dollars. Sixty thousand dollars. Okay. Okay, for the three pieces. Three pieces. Okay. We have over here the VAC statement phono stage. Oh, beautiful. Which we are using with our second arm with our mono cartridge. Okay. Okay. As we move down, we have for our digital duties here, we have the Ideon Absolute Stream 
and the absolute dot, which are phenomenal pieces. Where are those made? These are made in Greece. Greece, okay, yes. Greek components. First time I see Greek components, okay. On this top here, we have what's coming back, the reel-to-reel. -reel. See, this, the, oh, you're, this, see, you're just, you're killing me with my audience now because the reel-to-reel, -reel, then vinyl, I'm accused of being a digital guy. You guys are always bashing me on the comments section because you're saying all the time, I need to be able to play vinyl. And of course, they have amazing, amazing vinyl in here. They have an incredible setup. We're gonna be playing actually some great music that I handpicked myself. So on the following video, you're, you're gonna get to hear this system in full glory. Go ahead and continue, sorry. So we have the United Home Audio Ultra Deck. This was their top of the line. They've now introduced a higher end one. This has a separate power supply to power the unit itself. Okay. Um, we are using the VAC statement, line stage preamplifiers. Again, preamp, separate, pa separate power section for it. It's time for me to leave the room, guys, because this guy is showing me VAC statement, showing me, you know, reel to reel, vinyl. I mean, it's just a lot of things that I still need to have and explore. Let's go with the power, actually, because uh, I think that <laughs> not putting these amplifiers on display is a crime here on my channel. So go ahead and let's talk about the power amplifiers. These are the VAC Statement 452 power, power amplifiers. Now I know you've had VAC power amplifiers. Yes, correct. Yep. I don't know if you've had these specific models. The 450, uh, the, the ones that are more uh, the, the state, horizontal. The state yes, one, state. Yeah. Yes. These, are, these are phenomenal. Those are phenomenal. These are phenomenal amplifiers. Kevin Hayes does a great, great job yeah. on all his equipment. <laughs> no question about it. As far as I am concerned, these are probably the best looking amplifiers I've ever seen in my life. So kudos to you for what you're doing there at VAC. Um, everything you build for me is just incredible components. Um, and I get to hear them now with the entire pre-amplification, phono stage, including one of the, one great turntable. So let's get to, let's hear what we have, what he has actually put together here. I'm really, really curious to hear everything here. And of course, Thanking, thanking you, uh, Valerio, no, for this. Thanks for coming, Jay. Greatly appreciate it. No, this that. opportunity has been great. Thank you for accommodating me and my audience to this incredible presentation that we are about to hear. So on the next video, you guys, you guys will hear music that I handpicked here to see what you guys think about this. By the way, how, how big is the room before we go into? This room is roughly 45 by 60 feet long. Okay, the speakers, when you see them here, they're not exactly massive. Okay, so we are going to do something very interesting because when I look at the speakers, I mean, I'm six feet tall and you can see more or less the proportions here, okay? They're not a massive speaker by any stretch of the imagination and to think that it can fill a room this big to me is incredible. So let's hear them. Stay tuned for the next video. You guys are going to love it. Until the next one, peace.